Brittany getting 3 a.m. cardio in. <laughs> So in a nutshell, we're at training now. Brittany ate spaghetti. Spaghetti. Crocs are cool. Hey. Hunter beat his brother up. I did. And now we're gonna do some stuff. Croc Nation. Croc. Get the rope, do a forward roll. telling her shoot your arms through the rope like that and hit, hit the, the rope with your shoulders more than just your chest or your neck so run and hit the rope forward again hit the rope forward and do a back roll Shoulders up. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. So it looked like he was. It looked like you went before he was ready. One, two, rope. I didn't want to sweat, and this is what they do to me. That's my back print. I'm supposed to go eat like this now. You're scared to do it at that point. I feel like he would have got to the point where he could do it easy. He's just scared right now. You got this, bro. <laughs> well, that was a good leg drop. <laughs> Cut out a train a little early. Gonna go and get some ah, frick. food. Frick. Trying to take me out. The, the frick monster. Frick. Frick me. <laughs> Already a large fucking hand. And now it's fucking swollen? Jesus. Got a sweet training session earlier. Jake did more Hurricane Ranas and everybody sold Hurricane Ranas for Jake. So we can learn about throwing people and then not getting hurt in the process. So now we're out to eat, waiting in the queue at TGI Fridays. And just wanted to shoot a little bit. Looking at some fucking NASCAR cars. We're probably not supposed to be over here. But yeah, training is getting fun. And we hadn't heard anything from the new guys again, so we're guessing that they are done. But we're not sure. We like to hold out hope for people. But then people just fail us, don't they, Brittany? Sometimes. I pulled a Hurricanrana and I was the base for one, so I'm happy. She did a Hurricanrana. How about that? Successfully. 
Brittany jumped on somebody's shoulders and whipped them around and threw them on their back like some kind of fucking ninja. This whack shit. She does that to me all the time. The one thing about Con Connor is he is 100% going to do some flashy showman shit. Dude, if Dustin was, if Poirier if wins this fight, he was trying to fuck you up, you're just like. <laughs> Dude, me and Tristan had the best story with them and fucking boss ever. So yeah, we just went and ate breakfast with my dad and he surprised me with my sister being there and her children and I guess me and her never really got along all that great so it's kind of a shock whenever I showed up and she was just there but it's whatever we're supposed to go over and do some training with Matt and Katie possibly so getting in the ring, hopefully learning some more stuff that Tom taught her, because I want to know fucking more about all that. And I really want to go through JPWA myself, hopefully. If I can at least like get to go to the, some of the classes or even a full three months, that'd be amazing. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's going to be in the works eventually. I'll just reach out or fucking go down there and just talk to him myself. We'll just see. Yeah, man, that Connor fight last night. Like, holy crap. Definitely did not see that coming. I guess like where he's not been like as focused on training for fighting as he was and uh, not as hungry, I guess. Some uh, things are lacking maybe in his training or in his diet and just bam, just step back on his leg and just snap that bitch. Like, wow. But yeah, <laughs> fucking great fight. Great time too. Fucking over Joey Chelsea's always is. But yeah, I just want to thank everybody for watching and leave a like if you want, share it if you want. If not, screw it. Thank you guys. Peace.